Hi guys, my name is Dr. Ahmad Sadiqi, aka Pakistani Pepper, and today I'm going to show you how to use Google Sheets to keep track of student attendance. This is the second part of my tutorial where I showed you how to use Google Forms to document student attendance, and I'll leave that link above and in the description below. Now, without further ado, this is Google Sheets to track student attendance right now. So here I have the page that I created uh, with my students' submissions from Google Forms for their attendance. If you don't remember how to get to this page, I'll link the tutorial up again, which is in the description, and that will show you how to get this sheet from their responses. So as you can see, I have a bunch of responses right now. Students from all my classes, students with different emails, names, and this is only a piece of what the total form is that I got. My actual form is even longer than this. In order for me to organize this so that I can get a sense of who attended when, the first thing I need to be able to do is make sure that I can separate them by month. So I can see the monthly totals of attendance. So here's what I'm going to do. Notice how in the filter here, I have the date of attendance. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to go to filter by condition. There, I'm going to click on this part that says is between. This is going to give me a range to begin from and a range to begin to. So here I can enter what values I want. I'm looking right now just at June attendance. So what I'm going to say is I'm going to begin by 06, 01, 2020, which is June 1st. That's the date of attendance I had. And I'm going to end it with 06, 30, 2020. And that is my ending date of attendance. So that is what it's going to filter by. And then I'll click OK. As you can see, my list has already gotten shorter. So at this point now, I'm going to take just these June ones, I'll copy them, and I'm going to paste them in a new sheet. So I'll add a sheet by clicking the plus button at the bottom, and I'll paste them there. Notice how now the top bar disappeared because I didn't copy that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click here and I'll insert one above and I'll do all the same things. Timestamp, student email, student name, student class, and date of attendance. I did all that. I'm going to click here and I'm once again going to go to this filter button where I'll create a filter. And then I'll spread these out a little bit so they're a little easier to see. Now, as you can see, I have this that I copied just the, what I'll call June attendance. So this is all the attendance that I have in the month of June. So I'm going to now go and I can see my students and their attendance in the month of June. Again, this is small because it's only three students that I picked, but it would be the same principle even if you had more. So now what do I do? Well, my option one is I can sort just by that student's name. So let's say I want to look at just the theme. I'll click unclick these two so that they're not checked anymore. And now it's just the theme's attendance. And when I select it all, I see at the bottom 13. So I know that the theme attended on 13 different days and I can check what day and what time he submitted those by going to the timestamp or the date of attendance form. But maybe I don't want to do that. Maybe I don't want to individually count every single student. Here is what I'm going to do. I'll once again select all students so you see they're all right there right now. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do here, I'm going to count each individual student. So total student attendance. And I'll pick student name. So here I'll pick the theme's name first. Now what I'm going to do with the theme's name is I'll go to that cell next to it. I'll click equal. Count if. Now I'm going to close that. Now I'm going to pick my range. My range is this right here. This all the way to the bottom. 
So T2 to C46, that's the range that I'm looking in where I want to count. But I want to count the theme specifically in quotation mark. I'm going to put in the theme. That's going to count that in between cells C2 to C46, how many times did the name Thasneem appear? And Thasneem has 13 appearances in the month of June. Let's see, who's my next student? I have Remy. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to click equal. Count if, open parentheses, C2 to C48, which is my range of students, comma, space, quotation mark, Remy, close quotation mark, close parentheses, enter. Remy has 16 attendances in the month of June. Finally, Alondra equals count if open parentheses C2 to C48 space Alondra close parentheses Alondra was present 16 times in the month of June. So that's my June attendance. And I can do this repeatedly for any of my classes. For example, I will hit plus. Let's say I wanted May attendance. What am I going to do? I'm going to go back to my original forms. I'm going to go back to the filter for dates of attendance. I'm going to for in between, I'll now make it May 1st, 2020 to May 30th, 2020. I'll click OK. And this time now, scrolling up, you will once again see all the May attendance. Notice how all the dates are now arranged from May. I'll do the same thing again. This time I'll actually copy the starting range as well. I'll copy everything. I'll paste to another sheet. I'll set my filter. I'll spread out the cell names so they're a little clearer. And once again, I'll do Student name, total attendance in May. So for example, I will do Remy equals count if. Now once again, I have to figure out my range. My range this time is C2 to C60. There were more instances in that month. So I'll do C2 to C60. I'll open. Remy, close. Remy had 18 appearances in May. Once again, Alondra equals count if, open parentheses, C2 to C60 this time. Alondra, close parentheses. And finally, I will have the theme. I'll click equal, count if. And now I'm going to say C2 to C60. I'll put the comma. And then, once again, I will type the theme. 19. So Remy was present 18 times in May, Alondra was present 22 times, and the theme was present 19 times. And that, on a very simple level, is how I make sure that I can track my student attendance using 
Google Sheets that I derive from their responses on Google Forms. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, do leave them in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, consider liking and subscribing. This is Pax Pepper saying peace out, stay peppery, and don't forget, sometimes life's best lessons are in the stories we hear least. Have an awesome day, guys.